and space the floor a bit and change the look offensively. Morant, razzle-dazzle behind the back for the floater. Well, I think the concept of what we saw to those individuals defensively when they had their opportunities when so many players were out with health and safety protocols for Brooklyn. Durant in and out on a night where Kevin Durant has gone 8 of 24. The Nets have not had enough offense aside from Durant. Harden with 17. Whirling Dervish. Ja Morant has taken over. He's got defenders draped on him, and he still rises to finish. Griffin got body bump and missed it on the banker. Morant looking for more. Corner, Culver, flyby Griffin, Morant missed it off the heel, rebound, knocked out of the hands of Griffin, another second chance opportunity for Memphis with a minute five to play. We've seen the fourth quarter issues from the other night spill over into the second half tonight, and Jared Culver connects from long range. Memphis is having a good old time here in Brooklyn. They're getting the ball anywhere they want to. Griffin misses on a three, rebounded by Aldama. Final 45 seconds of the third. High screen, Clark. And Brown will get charged with a foul. That's her over the limit. I mean, watch this. So Bruce Brown trying to fight over the screen, tangled up with Morant, and Morant realizes he's got Brown on his back. Griffin isn't engaged enough, and he just scoops to finish. That's where the body control and strength comes in. That takes a whole lot of core strength to be able to continue to stay with the play. And there's the aspect, I too, that you talk about. Not getting sped up for is unbelievably fast and quick as he is. He understands how to use the change of speed to his advantage. And he's just been spectacular here tonight. 96 to 71, a third quarter explosion for Memphis. They've got 40 points. Griffin, the catch, ducks inside for the bucket. Six second difference, shot clock to game clock. Final moments of the third quarter. Jones taking his time, watched by Patty Mills. Clark on a handoff, Moran. One on one with Johnson. Isolation. Morant, the move. Well, that's not going to work. There are limitations. <laughs> going behind the backboard, over the backboard. It would be, be a killer horse shot if it went in. And nice defense by James Johnson. For, as much as we're talking about Morant, Johnson does an excellent job of forcing him so deep in the baseline and making it a tough angle. Both Ja and James are laughing about it. Mills rushes up the floor, just ran into Durant. And they're going to put some time on the clock. And that might be the final visual that you need to understand what's happened here tonight for Brooklyn. Patty Mills trying to get a last second shot off and runs into Durant on the wing. And take a look right here. Patty trying to get. I don't know if he was trying to DHO or what had happened to just miscommunicate. And, and you don't see that often between those two players, to say the least. So they're going to take a look at the clock to see when they were out of bounds and how much time is left. John Morant, 18 points in the quarter. The Grizzlies have outscored the Nets 40 to 26. Here in the second half. And going back to the other night, I with the Clippers game, one of the big things that we continue to focus on, and this Nets team did, was the amount of second half score that they allowed. After there was a clock malfunction, play was out of bounds with 0.9 seconds left in the third quarter. So 0.9 on the clock for Memphis. Tyus Jones will toss it in. Morant, one dribble, tosses it up. Off 
the heel at the horn. All Grizzlies in the third. Frustration bubbling over for Brooklyn as we head to the fourth.